So what we have here is a first run mini Zooka cart. And I was actually promised a free putter pouch because they had to push back production. And so hopefully it's in there. There's the putter pouch. There's the putter pouch. We're gonna put this together and we'll be right back. So here's a look inside the mini Zuka. The first thing you'll notice is it doesn't have the same dividers as the normal Zuka. Instead, it came with these with no instructions on how to use them. So without an instruction book on how to put this together, we had to go with our best guess and this is it. So we thought maybe over here you could put your drivers right there and then put a couple mids right over here, maybe some putters. Well, we've got the putter pouch up here, but you might want to put some down here. Um, then there's this space up here and we thought maybe you could put your wallet up there. And the bag actually came with this and uh, I don't know, maybe you could put your towels in there or something. So we put that up there too. or. You know, you could ditch that and just give it to your mom for her makeup. I don't know. So a quick summary of my pro and con list for the brand new Mini Zuka cart. Pro number one, it's light because you're not carrying around 20,000 discs. Pro number two, it's more affordable than the normal Zuka carts. This thing is like 100 to $200 cheaper than those. Pro number three, you can sit on it. It holds like 300 pounds. Pro number four, it's still minorly customizable. Um, there are some cons with it though. Um, let's just rattle through those really quickly. Con number one, it's really confusing in there. Con number two, you can't customize it quite as much as you can the normal Zuka carts. Con number three, it's just too late in the day for me to go out and play. But there's always tomorrow, so be sure to hit that subscribe and you can join me on the T-pad.